Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQL PL SQL developers. From video number 29, we are seeing about the exception related questions. As a continuation of that, in this video we will see about what should be your answer for the question, what is raise application error. See in the previous examples, we have seen about the types of exception like uh, we know that there is like a predefined exception and the user defined exception. So this video will specifically talk about the user defined exception. So we can able, we can handle the user defined exception mainly by two ways. One is using a raise keyword and another is using raise underscore application underscore error. We'll understand better with an example. So here is a simple PL SQL block which has one uh, PL SQL statement only within the beginning uh, keywords. So what I'm doing here is a simple division. Whenever the denominator is equal to zero, this division will throw an error. So in this case, when v2 is 0, Oracle will throw an exception saying that divisor is equal to 0. In fact, this is a named exception, but this exception is automatically thrown by the Oracle because the moment it encounters this division and it, and it knows that the denominator is equal to 0, Oracle throws this exception. Instead of we allowing Oracle to raise this exception, we can proactively check whether the denominator is equal to zero or not. Only if it is not equal to zero, we can allow this division to happen. Otherwise, we can explicitly raise an exception. So this is an example for the user defined exception using a raise keyword. If you see here, I'm defining a variable which is of exception type. After that, I'm checking in case if v2 is zero, that is if the denominator is going to be zero, then you can explicitly raise this exception. So this is this in this case, we are not allowing Oracle to raise the exception. Instead, we ourselves raising the exception. So in this case, Oracle will throw an exception called user de unhandled user defined exception. In fact, I have not handled this in the exception handling section, but the intention of raise keyword is basically to raise a user defined exception and to handle as part of the exception handling section. Since I have not handled in this PL SQL block, it is just throwing back the exception to the column. Let us see how to handle this exception. So here is the same program. To handle this exception, we just need to use the same exception name. So in this case, this will just behave like a name of the exception. So in the exception handling section, we can say whenever we are encountering this exception, we can handle it so that the program will get terminated gracefully. So this is an example for raise keyword. Typically we'll use this raise keyword to raise a user defined exception to handle within the same PL SQL block. But some cases we just want to throw back the exception to the caller. In that case uh, using a raise keyword won't be a, a very uh, suitable method because raise keyword will just throw with a simple technical uh, simple description like unhandled user defined exception. So the caller will not get to know what this specific error is about. So it would be better if you can throw the exception with some meaningful description. So to, to raise back or to throw back the exception with a meaningful error message, there is another way that is called raise application error. So now we'll see how to use the raise application error. In fact, exactly the same program. So instead of using the raise, um, user defined exception, I am using the raise application error. The main difference between the raise and raise application error is raise will just raise an exception which will have uh, error number that is 6510 and it have a just a description called user defined exception. Whereas raise application error will take two input. The first input is a numerical number which can range from minus 20,001 uh, to 20,999 and a mandatory description. So this is user defined description. So here we can give a more functional error description rather than a Oracle specific technical error description. So when we try to raise the error with raise application error keyword or with this procedure, Oracle will throw the error exactly in the same format as the Oracle. You can see here, here now we are getting a, a exception which is of same format. What I mean by format here is an uh, exception in an oracle will have a, a code and a description. So this is the code and this is the description. In fact, in this case, both the code 
and the description are user defined so we just passed minus 20001 so that is what we are getting as overall 20001 followed by whatever the description we are giving here that will just get appended here so we'll be getting an exception name exactly like an oracle but this is more of functional description and it in fact this is a user defined description and a user defined code the only uh, thing you need to keep it in mind is that the code should be uh, within the range minus 20001 to 20999 so this is the allowed range for the user defined description so here is a documentation from oracle so from interview point of view you just need to highlight two point one is like race application error is mainly to throw back the exception to the caller with a user defined uh, code and a user defined description in fact it will allow you to throw exactly in the same format as how oracle used to throw for the named and the unnamed exceptions okay so the difference between a race and race application error is that race typically will use to handle within the uh, block itself within the procedure will raise and handle within the block whereas race application error typically will use to throw back to the calling place if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new future videos interview questions as well practical question and concept videos if you want any questions to be answered you can drop in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id Thanks a lot for watching this video.